this episode everyone. In this one, we finish off the rear section of the ship and complete the stand. steps here are building these. So I'm going to build these in two sections, the bottom half and the top half. And I think there's a third part. Yeah, this part right up here. So it'll be like three sections I got to build. So as you can see on the back here, it's pretty wide and it just triangles up to the top section there. Um, and you can see there's a bit of a lip here as well. That's easy to do. And right in the center, that's going to be where the torpedo launcher is. So I got to build around the torpedo launcher. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to probably build it in uh, three sections. It's two, three walls there, four. And it butts right, basically almost right up against the back end of the ship there. So I gotta measure how I'm gonna build it on there. I'm gonna be using the uh, two mil uh, thick sheet plastic styrenes and I'm gonna measure the bottom part here, how wide it's gotta be, how high I need to have it, and work from there. Okay, I got these parts ready to go here. Uh, the two sides, the back, i uh, just going to stick these together now. Not too bad, looks good. Just got to put some windows in there. I'm going to build a, a top for it. And then the second half, the middle half, will go on right after that. Not too bad. Let's test the fit. Look at that. Pretty nice fit. It's not going on there just yet. Um, I still got a bit of, you know, I got to round the edges and a little bit of putty here and there but uh, it's looking good looks pretty straight looks good okay on the top of this the height of it comes up about three centimeters so it's uh, almost up to the bridge section where the height is and then on top of the, the middle section is the third uh, pod that goes on top of that and then the great big one. Okay, so I got uh, the windows there. Just got to drill them out now. Got this half here which goes on top. Like that. And I still got some more body detailing to put on there yet. But it's looking pretty good here we go got the uh, the windows on there see some of them are drilled out some aren't on both sides there so now in here I'll have to drill a hole for the wiring to go down for the lighting and I have to drill another hole over here when this goes up here, so when I get the big part built, I'll be able to light that as well with the um, flasher. I painted the interior all chrome. It'll make the light, light, light spread around a little bit better. Just shine out through the windows. The exteriors, so I'm going to be painting the um, the primer on it. Um, so I don't need to worry about it painting inside of this. There's no windows in this. But once I get the hull detailing and stuff on there, then uh, the primer will go on once I get all the extra parts done. Okay, so I got the uh, all the edges here all beveled off. Nicely rounded. Looks good. I just got to finish off with the other uh, pieces now.
got the hole for the power drilled there and there okay now we're going to be doing this part here you can see it's uh, about as wide as this is down below here so let's get that on okay I got two halves here glue one on top of the other like this and then I'm going to shave it down so it looks like this on an angle so and that's something so I'm just going to glue these two together wait till they dry and then sandpaper it okay I just got those under pressure so I just got to wait until the glue dries and then I can sandpaper it with the angles angled there you go, got the detailing done on the back there. I'll just round off all the edges and everything on the uh, smaller sections here a little bit later once the glue dries. So it looks pretty good. Okay, so this is done now. Goes on like this on top of here. And then we can move on to the last step. Okay, you see on the back, on the here, the section, how wide it is here. It's just about as wide as the pylons here. Um, so I just need to figure out the length here. And then cut out. It's going to go in two sections, the top and the bottom. And there's going to be a, a thin centerpiece that goes all the way around uh, the outside here. Uh, so I just need to figure out how long it's going to be so I can just use this picture here to determine that like the top here comes up just past the main phaser array here and this back here just a hair past the back end of the ship so I just got to measure that on the top part up here on the ship and I should get my length there we go, there's the design I made, and I just gotta cut it out twice. There we go. That's the first one. Looks good. Got it. Got it all rounded off on the edges here. So this will be the top. Just could do up the bottom now. There we go. Got them done. Now just got to do the uh, the center piece that goes around the other edge. And then I drill the holes here for the lighting. And that's it. Okay, I got uh, my long single strand here I'm going to put along the edges here and I'll get this one here ready to go for the top part okay there we go got the edge all on there looks pretty good now I just got to find out where I want to put the, the flash air lights and uh, here we go Okay, now I got uh, the little holes there ready for the fiber optic lines and just need to put the LEDs in for the lines. There we go, got uh, the red, green, red, green, because this is going to be pancaked on top that way. Alright, there we go, got that one. Got these. They're in different positions so they don't interfere with each other. Okay, I got my 91 ohm resistor 
that will go on to the red and it will also take care of this red as well there we go okay now you can see there's a bunch of detailing along the edges here so I'm gonna do the same thing with this before I put the top on so looking carefully enough you can see the little ridges there on them now I got a styrene sheet here that has the same ridges it, this is just like for model railroading so you can easily get this at any hobby shop or order it online or whatever and I'm gonna use this here for these little uh, areas along the edges there we go got all those done there all these on the back this thing focuses there we go not bad now I'm gonna do the top paneling here well it's coming along looks good I just need to put some more detailing on there and here I got to um, make the sheets here for these strips here this is just an outline for me to follow and looks good there we go it's all but done just get a few more details on here and this thing is almost ready now one thing I forgot to do on here is the forward torpedo launchers on here so I gotta have a red LED here going towards the torpedo launchers alright there we go and I have a 47 ohm resistor on those red LEDs now I just gotta hook them up with fiber optics and this top or the bottom part of this is done I got the uh, heat shrink on all those now I'm got the the slightly smaller heat shrink here which will go inside that one but first I'm going to measure out the uh, or fiber optic lines to put in there and slide in there and into there done it's all done get those hooked up the two torpedo launchers the flashers everything's good Okay, I got this top here done now, so it's uh, almost ready to be hooked up now. What I got to do on here is I got to find a hole here where I need to put down for the power lines to go down through. So far, so good. Looks good. Just got to put the two halves together now. This is looking nice, boys and girls. Okay, got. Uh, to see the flashers here tied in main power going down the hole there got these tied in going down the hole and everything coming up the bottom here so it looks good just gotta put connect these lights with these ones put it down and this one's finished there we go so I got uh, these are all tied in now these are tied in and I made sure that the green here is, let's see, where's the negative? Right here. The white one here is the negative. Goes in just before the resistor. So the green here isn't going to be diminished in any way. So the reds are tied in off from the resistor. So that's all good. Time to put it together, boys and girls. Woohoo! There we go, just gotta let that set now, and then I can finish off the detailing later. That's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we're gonna be doing some more additions and start doing a little bit more assembly of the model. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share. And check out my online store, the link is down below. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at modelbuilder501 at yahoo.ca. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.